Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for a spotlight video looking at the small batch series from Razor Emporium of our shaving soaps, aftershaves, and balms. <sighs> it seemed like so long ago, but just like yesterday, I was dreaming up the idea of having a line of product we made in-house. Uh, I think the year was around 2017, 2018. That, that dream was to have a line of in-house made shaving soap products that represented some of the most classic, kind of um, popular and complete line of, of scents, while dabbling a little bit into the artistry of soap making and of blending scents, and uh, we've accomplished that goal. I'm really excited that we've been able to work with uh, one of our staff members, DJ. She has been at the heart of the Small Batch series. But we've been able to craft, I think, a very well-rounded and, and beautiful and uh, well-performing line of products. And I think that this is something that is something I'm very proud of for Razor Emporium as a business. People have known of Razor Emporium over the years for restoring vintage items, selling lots of vintage razors, doing replating services, tune-ups and stuff. Um, and it, it, it's always shocking me that after five or six years of having this on the market, we still get asked, who makes your soap? Who makes it? Someone else must make it, right? It's made third party. It's made by another company, right? And I, no, we make the soap. <laughs> I, I kind of joke, and, and I say this in jest, and I say it respectfully, uh, doing replating and, and um, all that you know, metal finishing has been a lot more intense in terms of figuring out, you know, how to crack the code of how to do all that. Uh, the chemistry behind soap making and blending fragrances is is much simpler. And uh, I, I actually really come to enjoy this. I can always tell when it's a day where we're making a batch of soap because the whole shop, I mean, it's a big 8,000 square foot warehouse and the entire shop smells like whatever we're making that day because the fragrance is just that strong, that potent, and we're making so much of it that uh, it fills the whole shop. But it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling to have that in the, in the air. I have used these products on and off, if you guys have seen many, many times for, for shave review videos here and also at home for live shaves. Um, the consistency of our products is what I think a lot of people call a crope, which is kind of a hybrid between a cream and a soap. So it's definitely a softer soap. Um, these are, these are vegan-based soaps, so they're all vegetable base. There's no animal fats in the Razor Emporium Small Batch Series line. Some of these soaps feature essential oils, some feature uh, more of perfuming oils. We have been told for five or six years now of how easy our soap is to lather, how great of a lather it makes, how slick of a lather it makes, and that was kind of another inspiration to the line. When we had customers come into our lobby and they asked about a good quality soap and, you know, something to get started with, I want to, you know, I want to be, you know, get started with wet shaving, I'm happy to point them to another brand. You know, we, we sell lots of other brands, and for years that brand was Parasso, and I still point people to Parasso, but it's really nice to have the assurance of saying, hey, this is something we make right here, and it's an easy performing product, uh, easy to use get a great shave out of it, and you know where it's made, you know where it comes from, and I think that's important for a lot of people. So another point that I wanted to make with the line was to have names and scents that were more straightforward, less ambiguous. You know, I'm not as creative as some of these other artists and soap makers out there who have elaborate stories and paragraphs and paragraphs of descriptions, and I really wanted things to be simple. So, you know, if you look at our barbershop soap, the imagery <laughs> tells you it's it's all about the barber shop here, you know, classic stuff. If you're going to grab our citrus soap, it's pretty straightforward. When you open this up, it's going to smell like a whole lot of citrus. So that's kind of the idea. We did get a little bit more abstract with some of them, you know, like heritage over here. The idea behind this is red, white, and blue like a barber pole. It's actually a variation of a barber shop. And I just thought red, white, and blue, of course, America, right? Uh, there's been some other ones. Element 47, for instance, this has its origin as a kind of a dupe of a famous soap called uh, Silver Water by Creed. And so I thought silver, that's element 47 on the periodic table. I'm always looking at the periodic table with all the chemistry we do, so I thought a little clever name there. But for the most part, what you see is what you get. And um, we also are happy to feature an entire line of balms 
And so as somebody who really has enjoyed balms over the years, I wanted to make sure that if you have more sensitive skin or don't like the drying kind of element of, of alcohol-based splash, you can put on a really nice lotion and have that same great matching fragrance experience. If you do like more of the Home Alone alcohol splash, nice, tight, crisp, you know, clean, antiseptic kind of feeling, uh, we do have many, many different splashes. So they're all matching. And we use basically, I think it's 190 proof ethanol as our, as our base. And we put some other things in here like uh, rose water, alum, aloe, glycerin. Uh, so we definitely have some other things. It's not just alcohol and fragrance. So it's really good for your skin. I used to think I wasn't a splash person. And I, I think uh, when I was a younger wet shaver, but now that I've gotten more uh, familiar with my face and the needs of my skin, I've actually come to really, really like splashes. And I think our splashes do really well at not giving you that dry kind of, oh gosh, my face hurts after that splash, but really kind of more of a, a soothing and, and comforting feel after you use it. It's really good for your skin too. Well, let's go through each one of these and just kind of uh, give an overview of some of the scents you can expect from the Razor Emporium Small Batch Series. The barbershop scent is clean, fresh, and natural, and is a celebration of classic masculinity with notes of musk, geranium, bergamot, oak moss, orange zest, and patchouli. Heritage is an homage to barbershops of days gone past. Scent notes include earthly patchouli, amber, musk, sandalwood. It's clean and masculine without being overpowering. Next up is Nordic. This masculine fragrance is the epitome of strength and valor, harmoniously balanced with the gentle notes of meadow grass and earthly richness of cedarwood. It's a scent truly fit for a king. Next up is Fireside. Summer is the best time of year for camping. Long lasting smoky smell that will linger with you even after shaving. This masculine scent includes notes of bourbon, charcoal, and cedar. Old school. It's clean, fresh, and natural without being overpowering or obnoxious. With notes of leather, black pepper, vetiver, frankincense, clove, aloe, tobacco, bay leaves, and white musk. Element 47, a cool water scent inspired by the oldest perfumery house on the planet. Element 47 is a fresh, reviving experience. Fans of Cologne will recognize the inspiration from Creed Silver Mountain Water. Contemporary masculine scent that begins with crisp and sharp citric notes with warming sweet blackcurrant and charming musk. Sandalwood is the number one best-selling scent in the shaving world for a great reason. Sandalwood is a deep, woody scent and often smells like a mix of rich earth, balsamic, soft, and creamy accents. Because of its enticing masculine scent, it is often used as a base note in many iconic perfumes and colognes. Citrus. Our citrus is blended from five sources and is characterized by its zesty and fresh notes that are desired by anyone looking for spring, summer months, or warmer, sunnier climates. Transport yourself to a warm grove of clementine, grapefruit, lime, orange, and lemons. Well, I am so happy that you've tuned in today, and I'm so happy we finally put together all the products on the, on the desk here. It's funny because the last time we shot a video like this, there was just four products, and how far we've come since then. Uh, we're really excited that if that you've had an opportunity to hear about these today, and hopefully you've had a chance to try some of these out. Um, give them a shot. Maybe they can grace your shave den. I think you'll you'll enjoy them. If you read some of the reviews, you're going to see Raven reviews about how easy these are to use, how great they are, and the good value. We, another thing we did, you know, we're not a soap maker where that's all we do at Razor Emporium, so we try to make a really good bang for the buck. So it's a good value for you, a good performing product. Check one out. If you have used one of our products, please tell me in the comments below if you, uh, if you have any suggestions for other scents we should kind of go to. Also tell me, I wanna hear from you guys. And thank you so much for checking out Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. We'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.